Okay, so this isn't a full review of any sorts, but it's just a quick overview. I know these printers are back ordered. Everyone wants to get one. So um, unboxing, it comes with a one kilogram spool of PLA. Mine was red, yours may be different. Printer is well packaged. It was larger than I thought. Um, I guess it is a much larger printer, but this box is almost as big as the guider's box. So again, the printer out, I just turn it on its side, carefully take it out, and then you're gonna need to remove all that plastic packaging and the styrofoam that keeps the bed steady. Uh, one of the first things I notice and love is the spool holder size. Normal spool holder size, so great to see that. It can fit and basically any spool brand from Amazon or wherever else you're purchasing. Um, so no third-party spool, spool holder or appendix necessary. This is the size compared to an Adventurer 3. Uh, in this case, a monoprice voxel. So again, same sort of form factor, same design style, bigger case, bigger print volume. First thing I noticed uh, with the screen is tons of on-screen help. So uh, there's maintenance, there's uh, tool tips, and the touchscreen is much more responsive and better to use than the Adventure 3. So the first thing I did, first thing I do with all my printers, added it to the Polar Cloud. There are instructions. Just enter in your username and PIN here from the cloud. This gives me complete control over the printer from anywhere. So anywhere with a browser, smartphone, whatever. Next, loaded my own filament, purged the red stuff from the factory, and then I just started a print. This printer is so plug and play and so reliable that it didn't need any tuning, any prior setup, any fuss. So I'm gonna talk about three things that caught my eye. First is the build plate. High quality spring steel, nice soft touch rubberized handles for plate and part removal, and I didn't have to use the nine point leveling once, not even out of the box. Next, swappable nozzles. I think they got this right and it'll simplify life for a lot of people. If you're a beginner, a gummed up nozzle can mean weeks of downtime or worse for your 3D printer. A hot swap nozzle ecosystem ends that. Not to mention, if you purchase the 265 degree high temp nozzle, you can print PETG or get the small 0.3 millimeter nozzle and print miniatures. This changes the printer entirely. Last but not least, the spool holder. Flash forges always let you use whatever filament you want, but they've never made it this easy to properly mount your spool. The Flash Forge Adventure 3's proprietary spool size that was later discontinued left people drilling holes in their spool cover and doing all sorts of things to try and keep an enclosed system. The simple peg mount fixes that. So there you have it, the Flash Forge Adventure 4, a huge release from Flash Forge arguably the closest thing to plug and play printing on the market. It's going to be good for thousands of hours of printing and tons of fun along the way. Add yours to the Polar Cloud and view your camera feed, print time lapses, and other features that unlock the printer's full potential.